Hey there, it's Aaron. In this video, I want to show you how you can take an old family photo that you found in a shoebox, a little cropped head headshot of somebody, and bring them back to life and really pop off of the screen by expanding the canvas around them, giving them some room to grow. So this is a really interesting image, I think. Um, we're gonna say that this is Aunt Ethel, great, great Aunt Ethel. And so this is an image that would have been taken in one of those old timey photo booths where you put in your nickel and you'd get your four or five shots. So this is one of those. And um, yeah, it's nice, pleasing. I like when the bit of a tint on the lip there, that's really nice. So what we're going to do is I'm going to change the size of the canvas. So let's make it, first of all, I'm just gonna do not a trick, but I'm just going to add some pixels above her head so that I can finish off the hair. But overall, I'm going to make the size of the canvas. Uh, we'll do 800 pixels wide, uh, wide and 1200 pixels tall. And because I have my height there, I'll take it from the top like so. And let us now have a look at our full canvas. So there we go. So I want to avoid these bars on the side and I also don't want the shadowing to inform too much of the area here on the sides. So I'm going to take my selection quite close to the top and then bring it all the way over to here. I'm going to leave her fingers, there's a couple of fingers that are sticking up there. I'm not going to have the AI render the entire hand. I'm hoping that this will give it information to work with for rendering its own hand in that position or area. So we've done the selection of our area. Now we want to hit this button, which is going to invert the selection, changing it from the area that I selected to the white space area around it here that we want to fill with generate fill, generate, and let's see it come back. So the secret is that this is actually, uh, our picture of Ethel here is something that I had generated, I think in the night cafe platform, either that or Leonardo, but I think that the image is very cool and very realistic looking. Um, so let's see what we come up with here for Ethel. Interesting. So it still gave it that vintage photo style, which is interesting because I wish that it hadn't done that top and bottom, but just as far as it being a realistic looking digital image, I think that that is very, very nice. The hands are not perfectly formed, but they aren't really the, the focal point. Let's see what else we have. Number two and number three. So in all cases, it just simply added an additional border. I'm not happy with that. I'm going to back out of all of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select only her head like so. And I'm going to select the inverse of that and I'm going to see whether or not AI can put Ethel in different outfit, but also just overall for it to be a complete image. I haven't really had that happen to me. Like I said, I liked it in that first rendering, but okay. So here we have her seated wearing a full dress, hands nicely formed, decent. Let's see number two. That is very nice, actually. And so is number three. So you can see, so though, some artifacting here on that seam. Same here, really, now that I look more closely. And number one as well. Well, that's disappointing. Let's zoom in a little bit more. So I'm going to do this again. I'm not going to give up. Let's undo again. OK. And now <clears throat> I'm going to bring it in even tighter on her face like so. Let's invert that selection, generate fill again, and see whether or not that is going to give us a nicer outcome. I'm going to say that the reason that was occurring is because of the fact that there is that shadowed area around it. So here it has done a very, very good job of coming up with a unique <laughs> a unique outfit. It almost looks like military medals that are going vertically there. Let's see number two, yes. 
And number three, all right, so let's think about it though in terms of our original image and the original hairstyle in it. Number one or number two would make sense. If I were to have to choose between one of those three options, I would say number two looks very realistic. Uh, let's zoom in a little bit. So you can see the scarf is the scarf is really, really nice. It all looks very natural. It's a natural extension down from her head. Mm, maybe a little bit of a thick neck there, Ethel, but you know, that's a that's a family trait and we won't discuss that. So overall, I think that we have accomplished our mission of giving some life back to Aunt Ethel. She's back with us again here in the early 2020s. And I hope that you enjoyed that video and I will see you the next time.